the well-known opening verses of Psalm 63 read, O God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I read this prayer in conjunction with Exodus chapter 19, which happens to be one of my favorite passages of scripture. And the verses that caught my attention this time around were Exodus 19 verses 10 through 11 and verse 17, which say, the Lord said to Moses, go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow and let them wash their garments and be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. And verse 17 says, On the third day, Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they took their stand at the foot of the mountain. The theological term that we use to describe God's condescension to Mount Sinai is revelation. Revelation is the event of God making himself known, if you need a good definition for that. It's an act of grace, a holy God revealing himself to his people, to us, out of his freedom and love. And the revelation of God is a theological cornerstone of the Christian faith. The triune God in all of his vastness and all of his transcendence is nonetheless deeply personal. He desires to have a relationship with his people. He wants us to meet him, to know him. And the initiative for the relationship is all his. He doesn't call us up for the Psalm says, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? But instead God resolves to come down, calling us to come out and wait for him. Advent is the season of coming out of the camp to take our stand at the foot of the mountain and wait to meet God. We wait for God to reveal himself to us, to come, to condescend to our space and make it holy upon his arrival, which is what Advent means, arrival or coming. And we prepare for his coming by consecrating ourselves in confession and repentance and prayer and expectation. And when he comes, he doesn't come to us in smoke or in fire like in Exodus 19, nor does he come in a still small voice like in 1 Kings 19, but as a still small child, a child in whom his fullness is pleased to dwell. All of the fullness of God was pleased to dwell in him, a child in whom salvation is created and a child in whom your and my thirst is satisfied. The prayer of Psalm 63 says, my soul thirsts for you. And on Christmas day, we celebrate the advent of the one who responds saying, whoever drinks of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty again.